Hi friends, today we are going to learn a new chapter, a new topic that's called continuity in calculus, right? It's closely related to the limit also, right? Uh, when a function uh, becomes continuous, when it becomes discontinuous, about this we'll be talking over here, right? So let's see some figures, right? Uh, let me draw a graph over here. Suppose this is my y-axis and this is my x-axis, right? And this is y-axis, right? And uh, here is some function, right? Uh, a function, suppose it's like this, and okay, it's discontinuous a little bit here, right? It is a hole, right? Now, suppose this point is uh, some x equals to 80 stands at, and at y it is L now, right? And uh, okay, fine. And the function of, uh, let me see, this is f of x function and it has a value at x equals to a suppose somewhere here right and it is uh, let uh, equals to p right now in y axis it is equals to p this is our origin right so now let's find the limit of this right uh, of this function let's find the limit of this from uh, left side right left hand limit let's first find out so left hand limit here limit when x tends to a minus f of x here is l right so our left hand limit is l and from again let's find from the right side also so right hand limit is here almost close to this point right so our uh, right hand limit limit when x tends to a plus f of x is also l right uh, left hand limit it's almost close to this right it's hollow and from the right side also close to this this hollow right so we get the left hand limit and the right hand limit now let's find the value of function right uh, at this point right what is the value of the function when x is equals to a right so f of a is equals to as the question is saying yeah right so it is equals to p right so uh, left hand limit is l right hand limit is l it means limit is existing right but the function has something different value at that time right so what i'm uh, writing here that limit when x tends to a uh, since left hand and right hand both limit exist so i can write like this now L uh, limit uh, at f uh, when x equals to a it, it exists right so limit is not equals to uh, at at is not equals to f of a right so the functional uh, the value of this function when f equals to a is not equals to the limit of this so since the limit uh, of this and the value is not equal so this is called discontinuous or discontinuity you can say this 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 actually this is called discontinuity discontinuity when the value of the function and the limit is not equal right so what is exactly the continuity so if you know uh, suppose uh, if it is nothing and here is it it is filled right now and there is no hollow it's filled suppose then we can say this is continuous uh, let me draw in different graph over here uh, suppose again this is my uh, suppose let me make a bigger one right uh, here suppose like this now right so here uh, let me suppose this point right oh uh, sorry let me do with the different call actually uh, fine yeah this point exactly right this point so here say it is at x equals to a distance on x axis and on y axis it is at l distance from the origin so this is origin now right and this is the function f of x now again so here the limit left hand limit as we're going closer and closer and closer to this point so left hand limit is uh, f of x is equals to l and here the right hand limit as we're going closer and closer from right side we are getting the same point here this point right so the right hand limit here also is the l right so what we see here that the left hand limit and the right hand limit is equals so we can say limit is existing right and let's find the value of the function right uh, function the value of the function uh, let me find here 
when x equals to a right when x equals to a the value of the function is f of a right so f of a is equals to now here f of a is equals to l right so what we see here the left hand limit is equals to right hand limit and this all is equals to means the limit is equals to the function also right so here the functional value is also l so what i can now write here that limit when x tends to a f of x is equals to the function of the uh, the value of the function when x equals to a right so when the limit is equals to the value of the function at that point right that's uh, at any point at suppose at x equals to a or any point the limit and the function value both are equal then we can say that the function is continuous right continuity this is the condition of continuity or you can say the definition of continuity this is the definition of continuity right so I hope you enjoyed uh, what is continuity and you understand uh, the conditions of continuity right uh, le let's see some examples some more uh, discontinuous examples uh, that uh, you can easily distinguish when the function becomes continuous right uh, the first the first condition was like this right uh, this was the discontinuity right when it is here somewhere uh, it is hollow right if it is hollow we can say this is discontinuous right this this was the first condition when uh, the function becomes discontinuous right uh, I mean uh, the functional value and the limit is not equal another another one I'm just writing here suppose this is my x-axis and this is y-axis right and uh, a function let me do with different color suppose this one right so from right side uh, left side suppose it is here and like this this is a function right and uh, suppose this is at this is at x equals to a suppose x distance is a and here this is suppose p and this is q right and this is our origin now so here uh, we have to check whether it is continuous or not right and this is suppose function f of x right so now here let me find first the left hand limit right limit when x tends to a right so as we go closer 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 to this almost close we get right so the left hand limit is equals to p right we we get the left hand limit p and uh, let me find out the right hand limit again so, so limit when x tends to a right uh, since i'm taking the right hand limit so uh, as we become closer 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 to this right we'll go we'll get here right so we get the value uh, uh, the right hand limit we get the value f of x is equals to q right so here left hand limit and right hand limit are not equal right since the left hand limit is not equals to right hand limit we can directly say that this function is discontinuous discontinuous uh, discontinuity right discontinuity this is another uh, property of discontinuity means another uh, case when the function becomes discontinuous right and uh, you you'll get lots of examples right like this uh, and problems also right like this right sometimes you get the left hand limit something and right hand limit something different so in that case uh, we can say simply that the function is not continuous right or function is discontinuous and another example let me give you uh, suppose again this is my x-axis this uh, sorry this is my x-axis and y-axis right and uh, suppose this is a line right suppose x equals to a it is it is from uh, x distance from the origin right and uh, a function is defined like this uh, let me give you it's going towards the infinity right from the left side also and from the right side also right both are moving towards the infinity now see in this case uh, a little bit upside let me make 
both are going towards the infinity right uh, infinity so here uh, first as we were doing since uh, before first we have to find out the left hand limit and then right hand limit right so now I'm finding the left hand limit suppose so left hand limit limit when x tends to a right f of x sorry this function is f of x right so f of x we get right as we're going closer and closer and closer 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 we're going upside right means we're going almost infinity right so from left hand side we get the limit infinity and now let's find out the right hand limit also so uh, if we get closer 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 we'll be going infinity but we never will meet right so limit uh, right hand limit when x tends to a it's minus it's plus right so we'll get again infinity since the limit we are getting what we're getting the limit infinity right the value is infinity so whenever we'll get the limits value infinity or limit uh, means the infinity will get the infinity then we will be directly saying this the function is the discontinuous discontinuous okay in this case we'll be saying directly the function is discontinuous so these are the conditions uh, we, we can uh, easily determine whether the function is continuous or not continuous uh, right I mean uh, so uh, I hope uh, you get a little bit idea about the continuity what is continuity exactly and how to find the whether function is continuous or not right and next video we'll be doing uh, some uh, examples related to this uh, right uh, related to the continuity problems okay uh, bye bye we'll be meeting in the next video